Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to do a recoil effect. So I'm going to pull back here on my cannon and when I let go it shoots a ball. But I want the cannon to have some recoil. So I'm going to go ahead and hit back. And Now in the cannon, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create two self attributes. Now both of those attributes will be real attributes. I'm going to call the first one my x and my y. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to do change attribute and we're going to change self my x to self position x. So what we're doing is we're recording the x and y of the canon. Now we're going to do the same thing for y change self my y to self position y. Now the reason why we need to do this is because we need the x and y value to not change. Um, what we're going to do next, um, your x and y will constantly change for the recoil um, which will throw everything off. So we need a set number that won't change. So now we're going to go in to the cannon spot where it shoots the ball and what we're going to do is we're going to do an interpolate rule and we're going to interpolate self position x to and this is where the math comes in self my x plus now I'm going to use 20 pixels because that's how much recoil I want you can adjust that to whatever suits your game times and then we're going to use the cost feature I'm going to go backspace to the bracket and we're going to say self rotation plus 180 and then close bracket and then we're going to do the same thing for the Y so we're going to interpolate going to shrink some stuff up here so you get some more room. Interpolate self position y to self my y plus 20 times and this time we're going to use the sin. I'm just going to grab that from the drop down menu instead. And we're going to backspace to the first bracket and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do sin self rotation plus 180. Now I'm going to show you that working. Actually first what we're going to do is we're going to do the duration 0 0.02 uh, 0 0.05 and then again 0 0.05. I'm going to show you that pulling back so I'm going to shoot and as you see it went back. So now we want it to shoot forward again. So we're going to put a timer in here I'm going to say after 0.2, I'll go after, run to completion. I'm going to grab these and I'm going to copy them down here just so we don't have to do all that math again. And now what we're going to do is we're going to say self my x, but we're going to go minus 0. And I'm not sure why you have to do minus zero. When I don't put the minus zero there, it just throws everything off. So minus zero. And then for rotation, we're going to do minus 180. And we're going to do the same thing for this one. So we're going to go minus zero. And then minus the 180. And we're going to go ahead and hit preview here. So now you'll see when I let go and shoot the ball, we get a recoil effect. No matter what angle that's in, it's going to recoil in the opposite direction. Now if you want it faster, you can just change the, the timers a little bit. And um, if you don't want it to pull back as far, you can change the plus 20. But that's how you get a recoil effect uh, in your cannons or whatever it is you want to use. And I just want to thank CodeMonkey for helping me out with the math for that uh, a while back. 